So just to review that, what would be the magnitude of the work here? What's the magnitude of the work in this case? Um, Say again? What, seven minus three? Seven minus three, it's four. That's right, okay, take your time. <laughs> so it's 20. Okay, 20 joules. Yeah. Or maybe I should have done it this way. So let's say we're going from here to here. So I would start by using this equation here. And I would say the magnitude is 20 joules. So even though the V is decreasing, V is technically negative 4. I'm just going to plug in positive 4 here because I'm just trying to get the magnitude. Uh, and then, what's the work that is done on this gas, positive 20 or negative 20? Uh, negative now, what's happening here? Is work being done on this gas or by the gas? And if work is being done on the gas, then this should be an ordinary positive number. The thing that's weird is to talk about the work that's done by the gas, since really work isn't being done by the gas, but a mathematician would get around that by saying that that is negative 20. Okay. So yeah, that shows we shouldn't assume that a negative delta V means a negative work. It just depends on which work you're looking at here. Uh, so the best thing to do is just plug in the magnitude of delta V to figure out the magnitude of the work. That's what these dots indicate. And then we should be able to figure out the correct signs on our own. We should be able to figure out the correct signs on our own. That's what we often do in physics, what we've done in the past. Use formulas for magnitudes and then figure out the sign on your own. But also remember, you hardly should even be using this as a formula. This is just length times width. This is just length times width. And of course, width is always a positive number. So if you think of it as length times width, you're going to get a positive number for the magnitude. And then you can figure out what the correct sign is based on whether you're focusing on the work done on or by the gas. So if you see an isobaric process, what does that help you? It helps you to find W. And then you can use that uh, to plug into this equation here. So let's do a more typical type of problem like you might see on homework or an exam. Let's say we're doing an isobaric expansion at 6 pascals from 3 cubic meters to 8 cubic meters. And during that expansion, 7 joules of heat are going to be lost or removed. 7 joules of heat are going to be removed from the gas during that expansion. And the question is to find delta U. OK, uh, so let's start working through that. The first thing would be to draw our graph. So what's our graph going to look like here? What's our PV curve going to look like? Initial state is going to be uh, coordinate 6, 3. Good. And then final will be 6, 3. Good. Sounds like a good plan. Let us execute that plan.
negative what? Negative um, 7. Good. Minus negative 30. Like this? Let's stop and take our time to think about that for a second. Okay. So going back, uh, so is work being done by or on the gas? It's minus 30, not minus negative 30. That sounds good. So let's talk about that a little bit more, but it looks like you see that. Is work being done by or on this gas? That's the reason why it's better to use this equation. It's better to use this equation because this should be simpler since we're focusing on the work done by the gas. Now, how much work is being done by this gas? 30. Negative 30 or just 30? Just 30. Just 30. We'd only need the negative if we were in the weird situation where we were talking about the work done by the gas even though work was really being done on the gas. The only time we need the negative sign is when we're talking about one type of work when it's really the other type of work that's being done, so to speak, if you follow that. All right, well, in this case, the reason we're focusing on the work done by the gas is that's what the gas is actually doing. It really is doing work, so we can use an ordinary positive number here. You can also just think about the basic intuition here. Let's just stop and think about the basic intuition. Um, is heat being added or removed? Should that increase or decrease the energy? So it should have a negative or positive effect on the energy. So that's where this negative sign comes in. And um, the, the gas is doing work. Is that going to give it more energy or remove energy? It has to use up its energy, so is the work going to have a positive or negative impact? And that shows that this should be negative too. So we should always just stop. Since the signs are confusing, we should always just ask whether the signs make common sense. A second ago, we were going to end up with a positive number here. But it doesn't make sense that when the gas is expanding, it, it would be added, gaining energy. So we can always just check the intuition there. OK, so now what? That's right. What does it mean that delta U came out negative? Is the energy going up or down? Uh, By 37 joules. So what happened to the temperature? Uh, the temperature also decreased. Yeah, we can't really tell by how much, but we know it went down, because temperature is related to the, uh, to the energy. OK. So you definitely saw the basic idea here, which is that you saw that once you do the work, if you know another term, you can plug into this equation over here. So we always want to come back to this equation. We had a little trouble with the signs here, so that takes some practice. Good. Do you have this in notes? Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's say we have a isobaric compression from 10 cubic meters to 7 cubic meters. Six Pascals while losing five. No, while Delta U equals negative forty joules. We have an isobaric compression from 10 cubic meters to 7 cubic meters at 6 pascals, while delta U equals negative 40 joules, find Q. We want to go through that basically with the same approach, and we need to start by making a PV curve.
speak up a bit, please? Sorry. Uh, negative 40 equals 2 plus 18. Sounds good. Thanks. 